take a quick moment to thank everybody who has been subscribing to and supporting my platform you guys are the fucking shit okay yes you are all right so y'all i'm gonna use my singing bowl so we can get the mood right up in this joint okay nice okay all right y'all so i went on and um pulled some cards for y'all just to see what type of energy um we was getting into oh before we get started y'all i don't know if y'all remember a few readings ago i told you guys that it was gonna be like some wildfires getting ready to start and i told y'all to watch the news why the hell i get up and go on my youtube today and in my feed they said california got wildfires that's like killing people right now y'all so oh my god i hope everybody who's out in cali is okay all right shout out to kuwait yeah all right so um this is the energy that the main energy that you guys are in for today the first card that came out for you is scales of balance ancient tantra of the soul Then we got Goddess of 10,000 Names, Isis, Endless, endless eman, Emanations of the Priestess. In it, emanations? Yes, Emanations. Y'all know uh, all these big fancy words, okay? I went to public school. Spirit of Isis, Triumph of the Goddess. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Enter the Chamber of Healing. Healing in the Divine Chamber of the Lady Isis. All right. Okay, so some of y'all definitely doing some um, shadow work here, which is always a beautiful thing. Always stay on that, y'all. Um, and sometimes you, you got to realize how spirit works, too. Spirit is not just going to have you deal with all your shadow shit at once. You know, that'll send some of us into the nut house, depending on what you've been through in your past. Or, you know, different type of behaviors that you're trying to break. So, you know, we, we heal in in different um, areas at different times. Okay, that's the way spirit is. They're patient with you. They understand that you can't handle, you know, everything. They only put on you what you can bear. So, they, they let you deal with the things that you're strong enough to deal with. And then they get you stronger in those areas where you aren't before you deal with that shadow work. Okay? So, a lot of you guys are doing more shadow work. So, that's a beautiful thing. A lot of you guys are balances out, balancing out your chakras. Every single time I pull these um these Isis cards out, I see y'all tribal tattoos. Them shits is dope, okay? I'm trying to get some tattoos now. All the damn tattoo men out here booked up. Make me sick. But yeah, um, yeah, you. it looks like you guys are doing a lot of healing work here. So that's beautiful, okay? I got a lot of different people from a lot of different belief systems here. Okay. Yeah, some of y'all drinking tea. Yeah, Libras in the house. Shout out, Libras. All right. We gonna go and get started. I'm gonna get up in your business. See what y'all going, what, what y'all got going on with y'all today. Spirit, what's up with my people today? What's happening? Oh, and by the way, y'all, um, we did reach 100, um, I mean, I'm sorry, 1,000 subscribers. So, I did, um... Set the video up, post the video for um, those of you who want to receive the free reading. 
Okay, it's a separate video for that, all right? First card out for you is the Five of Swords. The Three of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Money. Why the Six of Money here, Spirit? But what's going on with my people today? Why is the Six of Money here? Tell me. Why is the Six of Money here for my people, please? Okay. Thank you. All right. We got the Seven of Cups. And the Five of Pentacles. Okay, you guys... Y'all always thinking about this heartbreak. I don't know when y'all gonna get something else on y'all brain so we can read some other shit, right? Um, so yeah, some of you guys um are thinking about some sort of situation here where somebody could have possibly uh been being deceitful with their words here. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be a love partner, but it could be. It could be like family, you know, or friends, or you know, somebody that you trusted, somebody that, that was close to you. All right. Some of you guys found out that people was talking shit about you behind your back. And some of you guys found out that people was just flat out doing you dirty. Okay. Yeah. Some of these people were just doing y'all dirty here. Yeah. So you guys um, left somebody out in the cold here. This is you or them. Okay. You or this person. Um, somebody left somebody out in the cold here. Yeah. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody could possibly owe y'all some money. Yeah. Or somebody was lying about money. I don't know. I'm picking up like a friend and family uh situation here. This feels like some friendships or something, y'all. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I mean, it could be love. It is a big-ass heart with three swords in it. So it definitely could be love. But it feel like it feel like friendships and family. That's just how it feel. Somebody could have got kicked out the house. Yeah, behind some money, some rent or something. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, okay, so I'm picking up on two different energies, y'all, okay? I'm feeling like, for some of you guys, this is a friend, okay, that owed you some type of money here, all right? And then for some of you guys, this is an actual love situation, okay? Either way, both people are feeling left out in the cold or somebody got kicked out of a house here behind some type of money situation. Yeah, because somebody wasn't paying, the, either paying their portion of the rent or paying it on time or something of the sort, or somebody wasn't giving completely fairly in this love situation that was going on here yeah yeah somebody feel like their money being put on hold or somebody holding their money or not paying them what they feel like they deserve or what they're owed not giving them what they deserve or what they're owed in a relationship here yeah and some of you guys are looking at this person like why the fuck you won't give me my money when you got it like what the fuck yeah some of y'all Okay, some of y'all, this could be like a younger sibling or a child here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, this could be some somebody younger than you. If, if it's a relationship and the partner is younger or you're younger than this person. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if this is a love situation, guys, this person is definitely thinking about moving towards you, even though you guys, somebody here feels like they were left out in the cold here. Yeah, somebody, somebody's trying to manifest either a relationship back together or they're trying to manifest their fucking money back. Yeah. Why is this magician here? Yeah, you guys could have possibly let somebody borrow money or, you know, hold some money or this person told you that this money was because they was finna get kicked out of the house or some shit like that. Okay, and y'all trying to manifest y'all motherfucking money back. Yes, you is. I see you. You like, bitch, give me my shit. Yeah. What the fuck? And it looked like the person may have gotten some money here, guys. This person may have gotten some money. Yeah, if they're telling you they don't have it, they're lying. They got this fucking money, y'all. Yeah, they lying. They lying. They sneak it behind your back trying to pretend like they don't have the money when they do. Uh-huh. Yeah, and if this is a love situation, this is somebody who was doing some shit behind your back here, okay? That has something to do with money. So they could have been being deceitful with you, using money to be deceitful here, you guys. Yeah, yeah, this person watching you. Or you watching the person that's thinking they slick, sitting here telling all these lies, but you already know what the fuck going on. You already see what the fuck going on here. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You watching them. You watching him. Look, look how he looking at him. Look at this. 
You see this person sitting here lying and being deceitful and shit. You see it? You ain't crazy. No, you are not crazy. Why the King of Wands here? Mm-hmm. Think they getting away with something. Yeah, some of y'all want to kick this person ass. Don't kick their ass, y'all. Just keep setting those healthy boundaries. From now on, the answer is no. Okay? From now on, the answer is no. Yeah. If this is a love situation, okay, this person who did all of this sneaky shit behind your back in the past is trying to manifest you back into their life, okay? They want to give you some male or female. Yeah. Why is this Ace of Wands here? <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. So nasty ass pollen. I be re I'm so ready to get the hell from up here and get back down south. I swear. Why is the Ace of Wands here, Spirit? There we go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. For some of you guys, this could be a celebrity or somebody in the public eye. Okay. That is either trying to manifest you or you're trying to manifest them back into your life here. Okay. Or for some of you guys, this person sees you this way. They see you as a star, okay? Or they see you as somebody that is valuable to them, all right? Yeah, for some of you guys, this person is trying to balance out their emotions here, okay? But they're going to come to enlightenment about something, or you are. Why is the star card here? Yeah, like I said, if this is if this is this friend or family or this person that asked you guys to borrow money, this person got this money, y'all. They got it. If they telling you they don't have it or they haven't received it yet, they lying. They got that shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Where'd you go? Oh, that thing flipped. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some of you guys are coming. This, all, this shit is coming to the light. Okay. Whatever they doing behind your back is about to be revealed to you, you guys. All right. So if, whether this is a love situation or is this is somebody who's lying to you about some money that they owe you or that you want back from them or whatever, you this going to come to light. Yeah, just use your intuition. Spirit is going to show you through your intuition, guys. Yeah, this person is stingy and greedy. Yeah, they don't want to give you your fucking money back. But they ain't have no problem with asking you for the shit. And look, you was giving all happy and shit. Okay, this is you when they asked you for this money. Giving all happy and freely, like here you go. Y'all was y'all had it to give though. Yeah, but this person don't want to give your fucking money back. Like what the fuck? What you asked me to borrow my shit for then? Okay, yeah. And if this is a love situation, this person here is just focused on money. They're really focused on money right now. Okay, they could have possibly lost their job, or they're trying to save money here. Yeah, some of you guys are getting ready to turn your back on this situation, okay? Be it love, friend, family, whoever this person is. You guys are turning your back on these types of situations here. Excuse me. Yeah, you guys are walking away. This is just too much. A lot of you guys just feel like this is too, too fucking much. You know? You, you, you like, why the fuck I gotta play Finding Nemo when it's time for me to get my money? But when you ask me for the shit, I just gave it to you freely. Okay? With no fucking problem. Yeah, it's two different energies here, y'all. For some of y'all, this is a love situation. For others of you, this is a friend or a family that done borrowed some damn money. Don't want to give your fucking money back. Yeah, I see him sitting here, sitting here looking at this big ass coin and trying to front like they ain't got the shit. Look, lying ass. Yeah, y'all, this gonna come to light though. This gonna come to light. Okay, and if this is a love situation, whatever this person think they doing behind your back and, you know, sneaking and creeping and whatever the fuck they doing, it, it, use your intuition, okay? You'll figure it out, and you guys gonna walk away from this shit. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. You are going to walk away from this situation. Yes, for some of you guys, this has already happened. For others of you, this is getting ready to happen, or this is something that's in your energy currently, okay? Could be you, somebody you know, a family member, whoever. Okay. Y'all might have been talking about this shit with somebody. Shit, it might not even be your fucking energy for some of y'all. Yeah. Alright, y'all. So I got the juice. I got the juice. So what I'm gonna do is um I'm gonna try to see if uh both of these energies pick up here and we can kind of see what's going on behind closed doors. Okay. Let's see if we can pick up on both of them. If not, I'll just read them however they come out, okay? So, Spirit, please 
give us clear honest messages about what is happening here with this scenario i do feel two energies oh okay i guess i'm stopping right there i do feel two energies you guys so we'll see how these come out here okay we got pathway first we got high honor unexpected income yeah i told you this bastard got this damn money occupation courtship official person marriage oh okay coffin poverty and house okay yeah they blend it okay so like i said y'all um this is definitely um somebody here all right that borrowed some shit from y'all okay and then don't want to give you your motherfucking money back okay but i'm gonna keep it real with you this person this person really ain't got no whole lot of money y'all this this is like a poor person not trying to be funny i ain't saying there's nothing wrong with being poor because i done been there okay but i'm just saying this person that owe you this money this person that borrowed this money from y'all they ain't got it like that y'all they really don't okay some of them are in jeopardy of being kicked out of a home or you know their living situation is in jeopardy here okay also for the people where this was a love situation what this person wasn't telling you what they was doing behind your back is that they was married but this marriage is over okay yeah this person is working really really hard or if this is the uh, friend who borrowed this money here this person is looking for a job okay this person is looking for employment you guys all right there could be some military or law enforcement background here not necessarily but when you look at this person, you see this person as honorable, or at least you did before all of this shit here went down, okay? Yeah, and for some of you guys, this person was courting you and married at the same time. That's what they wasn't telling you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, either way, this relate both of these relationships, this friendship, or whoever this person is that borrowed this money or asked you for something and didn't pay you back, you walking away. And the people who was in this connection with somebody who was married and was lying to you about it, you walking away too. Yeah, everybody walking the fuck away. I don't blame you, okay? Nobody got time for that bullshit. We just don't. Life is too short for bullshit. I promise. I promise. I promise. Yes. It is. All right, y'all. I'm finna pull some goddesses for y'all, and then I'm gonna get the hell on, okay? It's somewhat the same energy we've been dealing with it seemed like seemed like y'all be in the same energy almost every day y'all y'all need to start focusing on something else so we can get some different readings okay also um when i first started this channel i started this series called um coulda woulda shoulda and i'm gonna start those back because when i do those readings the shit yo should be so random that be coming up like one of my videos the one that's got trigger warning on it that one picked up on um somebody being killed by the cops that shit was crazy, yo. I know y'all probably ain't watched it because I don't look like y'all be watching my old videos like that. But, yeah. So, I'm going to start that one again because I like how random the reads be. I don't. I mean, of course, I don't like picking up on police brutality, of course. But, I mean, it's real. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it ain't like I'm the cop doing it. I'm just saying. But it, it is real. It is happening, you know. All right, y'all. Let me go on and get y'all some of these... Uh, these goddesses. All right, goddesses. What you want to say to my po my folks today? Thank you. All right. First card out is Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Okay? So, a lot of you guys, you are going to get your money back. Just keep on manifesting. It's coming. Sedna, infinite supply. You are supplied for today and all of your tomorrows. Okay? So, even if this person don't give you this money back, y'all, y'all going to be all right. Spirit got you. Ishtar, boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demand on your time and energy, okay? Stop letting people borrow fucking money. Tell them no. Shit, if they finna get ready to be outside, that ain't your problem. I mean, shit, I know it sounds terrible, but it is, it's just true. Okay, Cordelia, go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. Oh, I should have read the one at the bottom of the deck, but uh, I done pulled Pelly. Okay, Pelle, divine passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? And at the bottom of the deck, we have Armin, Ar Artemis, guardian. 
you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. A lot of y'all needed to hear that, okay? Everything gonna be all right, y'all. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that little money. Let them keep that shit. It's all right. Spirit got something else for you, okay? All right, y'all. So I'm looking forward to this free reading giveaway. I can't wait to see who I'm going to end up picking and how the readings are going to turn out. Okay, so you people who have never gotten a reading from me, you can kind of see, you know, how I get down when I'm like doing for the, you know, the readings for y'all and shit. The people who have got readings for me, I enjoy talking to y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. Okay, I have met some really wonderful people that I got a lot of love for. I'm about to reach out to a couple of them because <laughs> I feel like we friends. Okay. All right, y'all. So this is the end of your reading. If you would like to book a personal reading with me or you would like to donate to my channel, you can find that information in the description box. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your time. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for the positive comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I just want to thank you guys. All right. I'm going to send y'all some love and light. Later.